There have been many, many studies of the diversity of crop varieties in farmers' fields over the last 20 years. Uh, people have assessed how much diversity is there. They've looked to see where the seeds are coming from. They've seen why farmers grow different varieties that they grow. But there hasn't been a next step. What can be done with this diversity? How can researchers, farmers, local institutions work together and use this diversity to improve their productivity and the resilience of their agricultural production systems? So what we did is we pulled together about 500 different publications with different activities and interventions that um, different groups, NGOs, governments, uh, private sector have done with the different communities and seen is there a pattern, is there some way we can formulate this? Can we help people to take action? Is there, is there a way to do that? So what we came to was perhaps there are four major areas where you would want to look at different interventions. The first being, well, there has to be diversity. If you're going to be using diversity to help farmers improve their productivity, then the diversity has to be there. If it's not there, what do you do about it? And you need to get it there. So step one, is the diversity there? Now, okay, let's say the diversity is there. Then what do you do? Well, it might be there, but maybe not everyone can access it. Maybe it's only available to people who have money to buy it, or if people have the right social status. Maybe it's too far away. They need some kind of transport help. Maybe it's right in their own field. So, okay, now we know there's diversity there. Farmers are able to get it, but maybe they don't look at it as being very valuable. What if the diversity is there, farmers have it, but it doesn't do anything for them? Doesn't, it doesn't have some characteristics that they need. So not only does diversity have to be in the system, it has to also be available to farmers and it has to have a value to them. Is it disease resistant when they need it? Does it? Is it like fruit trees that you have different varieties, you don't know when the frost is coming, so you need different types of varieties of your particular apple tree because you don't know when the cold is coming, you don't want to lose all your crop. Finally, you okay, we can stop with the diversity is in the field, farmers have access to it, uh, this is good things that they want, it has the traits, the functional traits that they want to use, but are they benefiting from it? It could be that they have it there, they're using has the traits they want, but they're not getting the entire benefit. The benefit is going to the middleman who's selling it. The benefit is, is uh, a benefit that they're not seeing. What type of market and non-market benefits can we add in? And there we're looking at economic methods, at policies that will ensure that the value of the diversity goes back to the farmers themselves. So this is our kind of four-step decision-making tool. Is diversity in the system? If it's there, can farmers get it? If farmers have it, is it what they want? Does it have the value they need? And finally, are they getting the full benefit from this diversity? Well, let me give you an example from some work in Burkina Faso in terms of uh, the constraint of having access to seeds at a time when farmers need them for the planting system. What One of the issues was is that um, farmers needed different local varieties of their pearl millet and their sorghum and their cowpea varieties and they weren't always having access to them when they when they when they needed them so what has been done there well we've helped support the establishment of a community seed bank and community gene bank two different things a community seed bank is where farmers can come at the at the beginning of the planting season they can borrow seeds kind of like a revolving fund plant their sorghum and, and pearl millet varieties, and then at the end of the season give back more seeds which, or grain, which helps pay for, for the seed bank. There are many different seed bank, community seed banks around the world, but what's interesting in, in Burkina Faso is this seed bank is linked to a community gene bank. So they have built five meters deep underneath the ground an area where they're storing seeds for the long term. So if in case there is a drought, which is often happens, or, or, or a civil unrest in Burkina Faso, there is still the local diversity there available to the farmers below the ground, which can be locked off and then used when needed. And what this has been able to do is farmers now have more diversity in their field and they have planting material at the time they need it, when they need it. Um, it also has extreme, uh, uh, a gender aspect because it's women who are managing these fields. And the town of Tuguri has given land to the women's group to be able to multiply and grow out the varieties. So it's been a very successful story. One of the major findings from pulling together all these different assessments and interventions, actions, is that there's no one major action to take. 
any type of intervention or any type of bottleneck or issue or constraint to the farmer can be managed by many different actions. There are so many different actions and the main idea is there is not one solution. And therefore what this paper offers is a portfolio of many different actions for all different types of constraints. The other key issue is that unless farmers are part of the decision-making factor, then these actions will not be taken and adopted. And not only on the asking them what they want to do, but part of making the decision and finding out exactly what the constraints are for them. So this leads to the a final uh, recommendation from this paper is that the efforts need to be put into ensuring that there are local institutions on the ground that can support farmers so they can be able to make these decisions and they have the information to do so and are part of the decision-making process.